I think uh, we're going to see a massive increase, a continuing increase in demand for uh, network, uh, network capacity. Uh, when it was mostly about voice, there was a kind of gradual increase in demand. Um, it's actually exponential now. And uh, my estimates, my firm's estimates, are that actually the total traffic is going to increase a thousandfold in a decade. That's a monumental amount. A lot of that can be taken up with improved radio technology, uh, increasing spectrum. Um, but to a large extent, it, there's going to be a need for more capacity through more cell sites. And uh, a lot of that will be in building. A lot of it will be related to very small cells, such as uh, wa using Wi-Fi, actually using a different technology, offloading from the regular cellular networks. Uh, so there is going to be a need for more sites. Um, I think the big towers um, really are mainly about coverage um, rather than capacity. Um, so a lot of the new or increased capacity is going to be built through perhaps less obtrusive in-building uh, type capabilities, the hotspots where most of the demand will occur. My responsibility as the uh, site engineer is basically for the uh, build out of the site, structural issues, uh, making sure we comply with the town's zoning ordinance. And um, as we get more and more sites that, uh, that are co-locations, some of the boards in New Jersey have, uh, have realized that these are not minimal impact and uh, they've, played, they've, uh, they've made it easier for the carriers to get approval. But uh, in the, even nowadays, uh, many years after we started this, we are seeing a lot of uh, problems with zoning boards. We're getting a lot of, a lot of pushback from uh, residents, a lot of objectors, even on, I'll call them simple sites, a co-location on an electric transmission tower. And I think one of the reasons we're seeing that is the social networks that are out there, where in the past you might have one or two objectors on a site. Now that, that objector is now rallying the neighbors through Facebook or uh, setting up a website. And we're going into towns with uh, we think is an easy application and seeing a room full of objectors. So we, even though uh, we think it's becoming more clear cut, the, uh, we, we have a lot of challenges in front of us with zoning boards now, especially where you have even one small issue which can mushroom into a room full of people. And uh, make sure we all do our homework from SIDAC to RF to the uh, site engineer to the planners because we're not sure what we're going to be faced with. We can't uh, take anything for granted these days. Um, on the uh, on that side of the objectors from the radio frequency design standpoint as I, as I stated earlier this morning we're really trying to build out the networks to support where the user is using the devices and how they're using the devices whether they be voice or for data and we've seen this progression from the the, the build outs in the urban areas now to the build outs in the suburban areas as well as the rural areas, and it's not just for voice, it's to support the data applications that are now being used by everybody with their iPhones. So we've seen this tremendous increase in, in the amount of siting that we're doing outside of the, of the major metro areas um, into where the people are using their devices. So it's, it's definitely changed um, what we've had to do and the solutions we've had to come up with uh, in order to try to build out the capacity in those areas. Because back to Keith said, we're going to have to use something more than just all the, the macro cell technology in order to do that. Uh, from a tower development standpoint, uh, everyone recognizes the uh, exponential increase in, in data usage and the need for new sites in the future. Um, but convincing zoning boards that uh, a capacity site is different than a coverage site and, and you do need a new tower to support that because the nearby infrastructure is either fully loaded or unavailable um, is a much tougher uh, presentation. Um, the challenges for us uh, from the tower development standpoint um, when you approach these boards or you're, you're, you have opposition, um, they do bring in things like new technologies which could be DAS, which could be the light radio. Um, we've had recent hearings where uh, People will bring uh, newspaper articles and uh, web printouts of this new light radio cube that's going to eliminate the need for towers. So um, it's uh, one other objection that you need to overcome and be prepared to, uh, to answer. And then lastly, um, you know, 
from a tower st standpoint is consolidation within the industry um, eliminates uh, another potential tenant. So uh, also something that we're concerned with. 